Now, did you know it's 73 years to the very day since the first Caribbean migrants arrived in the UK on the Empire Windrush? They've been invited to help rebuild this country after World War II, of course. It hasn't always been easy, but tonight their British descendants are celebrating Windrush Day. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, he's there in Nottingham. It looks like it might be fairly busy over there, Jeremy. It is, Anne, where outside the New Art Exchange in Hyson Green. And just take a look at this over here. These are the Take One dancers. Now, of course, this is a celebration, but it's also about remembering the struggle the Windrush generation faced. And Victoria Hicks has been talking to some of the first of those new arrivals in Leicester and finding out why one local cricket club was so important to them. The Windrush Generation, named after the passenger ship which brought people from the Caribbean to help rebuild Britain after the Second World War. I was only 18. The shock I have when I land in Southampton, can't describe it. I see all these houses with smoke coming out of it. I'm wondering, well, is all bakeries we have here? <laughs> so I'm going to get a job easy. How wrong was I? You'd see on doors, you go around looking for room. No Irish, no dogs, no blacks. As many of you here know, it's that uh, on the 22nd of June, 1948, the first uh, immigration of Caribbean people came to the United Kingdom. Memories shared on Windrush Day amongst members of the Leicester Caribbean Cricket and Social Club. Formed in 1957 by the Caribbean diaspora, the club became a focal point for the community. It was important because that was our only way of having any form of celebration. We could not go down into Leicester City. As a black guy, I couldn't go down there. It was a place that we could get together, get to know each other, because to go into the town, and especially if you're on your own, you're going to fight and you're going to get a beating. These experiences are now being collected as part of a government bank project to record this club's Windrush history and its role in developing grassroots talent. Every little bit helps for us as a club to move forward towards our main goal, where is to have a 21st century uh, cricketing facilities so that the next generation can say, OK, They've done their bit. It is now for us to maintain that and take it to the next generation. The aim is to raise a million pounds to update facilities here to ensure the club's survival for many more years to come. Victoria Hicks, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester. Well, back here at the New Art Exchange, they're focusing on the present. They've had poetry over there, they've had singing, they've even had a special Caribbean cocktail in there. Let's talk to one of the organisers here, Jeremy Prince. Jeremy, why is Windrush Day so important? It's so important because uh, people need to realise uh, the contribution that the Windrush generation have, uh, have brought to this uh, society. And uh, my parents were certainly part of the Windrush generation, so it's a really special day. Let's talk to some of the younger generation here. China, you're 12, aren't you, and Natasha, your mum. Why is Windrush Day important to you? Windrush Day is important to me because my great-grandparents were able to pave a way for me to be inside Nottingham. About you, Mum. Yeah, I echo what China says. Yeah, our grandparents are able to uh, pave the way for us, and it's really, really empowering, and it's really great to see all the events that we're seeing today. It's lovely. Let's just go back briefly to Jeremy. What, what's the biggest contribution you think the Caribbean community's made in, in here in Nottingham? I think helping to build up the NHS, um, working in places like Players and, and Rally, and all the big industrial, um, well, you know, firms and uh, companies that Nottingham is famous for, Boots. You know, a lot of our Windrush generation made uh, major contributions to that. Great. Jeremy and Natasha and China, thank you so much for joining us. And the celebrations here, Anne, go on right until nine o'clock tonight. Oh, thanks very much, Jeremy. Let's hope they've got some of those Caribbean cocktails.